This is Mrs. Clark, and we're going to be comparing the fractions 2 thirds and 1 third. What I want you to do first is picture those fractions. What does 2 thirds look like? What does 1 third look like? And to do that, you do need to understand the numerator and the denominator in a fraction in general. So when we have a fraction, I always think of it as one whole. So a whole pizza, like this, or a cake, or something like that. In both fractions, you're comparing them, you have the same pizza to start out with. That's very important. The denominator is the bottom number and it refers to how many pieces the whole is split into. So picture that pizza being split into three. That's how many people you have to split it amongst. That's what it looks like when it's split into thirds. Well, the good news is that in these two fractions, the denominator is the same anyways, so the pizzas are getting cut up the same way. So we started out with the pizzas being the same because they have to be. The whole is the same in both fractions, but then they're also now being split up the same way too. Now let's look at the numerator because the numerator is actually different. This one's a two and that one's a one. So what does the numerator refer to? The numerator is how many pieces you get. So you can see with these two pizzas here, they got split up the same way, but you are going to get two pieces over here, and you're only going to get one piece over here, two thirds versus one third. So just remember that denominator is how many it's split into, thirds, but the numerator is how many pieces you actually get. So on the left here, you're gonna get two of those pieces, and on the right, you're gonna get one piece. So take a look at those two and which one is the bigger fraction. Then we're going to draw our greater than or less than symbol. And I always like to think of it as a Pac-Man or like an alligator, and it's going to be eating the bigger fraction. So if you think of this as like a mouth, it's going to eat the two thirds, which is the bigger fraction. So when I draw it, I'm going to draw it with its mouth open towards two thirds.